up guys, He King here bringing you a new Resident Evil video regarding Give me a second there Regarding uh, the future of RE titles like RE9, RE5, RE1 Remake And the potential of an RE0 and Cold Veronica Remake Well guys, this is brought to you by uh, Dust Gollum Yeah, our favourite leaker on RE Which is, you know, he's proven time and time again now in recent days And weeks and months And pretty much, for the most of all these points That he's pretty much wrong So again, take this with a grain of salt But he's made a new post and honestly, it's, it's, has it been the 10 second mark yet? Has it been a minute? Can I, can I swear now? Yeah, it's pissing me the hell off, okay? Because he's going back and forth on all of his bullshit. And now he's made a new post saying the following, okay? So before I start, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And let's go with this. I want to try and keep this as short as possible because I can't take any more of this guy's bullshit. So here we go, yeah? Fuck it. I'm choosing to be the one to burst the bubble in a bigger way of what's going on with Resident Evil stuff. First, I would wipe the expectations of RE9 being announced this summer period. The initial rumors I heard now do be, I heard I now do, do believe are right, and RE9's announcement is further away than this up than this upcoming summer. Sorry for the back and forth on that one. That's my fault. RE1 remake rumors are bullshit. As far as I know, RE1 is not in any form of development at all right now. RE5 is not actively in dev right uh, 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 now either. It's been funny see this be what people think is happening publicly. RE9 is pushed back to late 2025, 2026. If everything I've heard is correct, which I believe it is, and I know others have hinted this, and I'm not the first to say this publicly actually, just just it's not caught on, there's actually a remake of Resident Evil Zero and Cold Veronica in development right now. I've talked to too many others behind the scenes about this at this point. It's something I heard over a year ago. Think it was going to get out whenever I was the one to say it or not, and that's about it. Okay, so let's go through this very quickly. First, he's saying that RE9 is delayed, that it's coming out in 2025, uh, late 2025 or 2026. First up, this guy comes and makes a post, says it's delayed. Then he makes another post saying, oh no, uh, I was wrong, it's not delayed, it's still coming out in 2025. And there were other people before him saying that RE5 is coming out in 25. Now he's saying that, oh no, no, what I heard before was actually correct. The game is delayed. Okay. I don't believe that because I feel like it's about the right time now to get the announcement of RE9. So I think he's full of shit on here. I know what he's going to say. Oh, well, see, there was no there was no announcement. There was no showcase this month. I'm pretty sure the showcase is next month in June because every freaking main RE title made by the main team, I might add. No, not the side team. The main team have always been revealed in June. So for me, I've been saying... June would make the most sense. And him saying it's delayed just doesn't make any sense. Even if even if it's not technically delayed or it is somewhat delayed, we should realistically still get a reveal you know, sometime this year regardless. Whether it's next month or the end of this year, we should be getting a reveal for it for release sometime in either late or early, you know, either late 2025 or early 26. It doesn't matter. We should be getting a reveal sometime this year. That's the point. Uh, RE1 remakes are bullshit. Okay, um, we already had a known leaker, you know, Daniel. He, I know, he does leaks for movies mostly, but he's the one who came out and said uh, they're making an RE1 remake, which makes a lot of sense considering it's the 30th anniversary of RE1 in two years' time. Why wouldn't you make a remake for that anniversary? Do you know what I mean? Again, it makes no freaking sense. Instead, it's going to be... RE0 and Co Veronica. Okay, before I'm going that, he also says that RE5 is not in development either, which I call bullshit on because we know it's in development. RE4 remake ended on a cliffhanger setting RE5 remake up. We know RE5 is happening, and Dos Gollum himself even hinted the game was happening. This guy literally said that they were working on two RE games back in 20, you know, back in, was it? Yeah, it was late 2023. He made a post saying they're working on two RE games, RE9. And another remake. Gee, I wonder what that remake is. It's obviously 5, isn't it? And now he's saying, oh no, it's it, it, it wasn't 5. But then in early 2024, he said they were working on 5 RE games. RE9? I'm assuming RE5 remake. And then the other ones, I assumed, would be RE1 remake and Cold Veronica remake. Now, now you're saying they're not doing RE1 remake? They're not doing RE5 remake? Instead, the, it's RE9 RE0 and Cold Veronica. So what are the two other games they're making then? 
Like, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? Do you understand why he's so full of shit when you read up his stuff? So, yeah, RE0 and Code Veronica remake. Yeah, I, I, I would believe they would be working on that. But in my personal opinion, it would make more sense to release an RE1 remake first and then do the RE0 remake. Not to mention, I've been saying for a while now, it would make more sense to combine the two, maybe. I don't know. Doing a separate remake just feels a bit redundant as well like i don't know Ori. Uh, personally this is just my bias talking i've never been the biggest fan of re zero i personally think it's my i hate that game i really do i think story and narrative wipe it sucks unless they do a big overhaul with that game the way they did with re4 remake i'm not really uh looking forward to that Cold veronica i'm expecting it but you're telling me they're doing a Cold veronica remake first instead of an re1 remake so why did Capcom shut down the RE1 remake uh, fan game? Why did they shut that down if they're not making an RE1 remake? See, this doesn't make sense. They shut down the Code Veronica re fan remake. They shut down the RE1 fan remake. I think it was being made by the same uh, people, by the way. And, you know, they did the same thing with the RE2 fan remake just before they announced Resident Evil 2 remake officially. So... You shut down those fan remakes and you're telling me they're not making an RE1 remake? It doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. So this post for me, everything he's saying here is just a bunch of bullshit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And if we don't get the RE9 announcement by, I'd say, next month or sometime this year, I'm going to be shocked. I really will be because the pattern of how Capcom's been making these games would be unexpectedly random at this point because it's like oh you you're changing gears now yeah it can happen obviously it can happen there's always things going on behind the scenes but logic and the way capcom has been doing things would indicate that re9 is coming next for 2025 or I don't want to say 2020 it makes 26 it makes no sense 2026 makes more sense to be re1 remake so yeah, this post has just thrown a bunch of things in and he's sitting there going, oh, I've known this about a year and now I'm saying it because no one else is saying it. It's like, you're, the reason no one else is saying it is because you're full of shit because no one else has heard the stuff you're saying. That's why. You're full of shit and you're stating certain obvious things like, I hate this guy. I really, really hate this guy. Like, it's pissing me off now how much bullshit he likes to post now. You know, it's bad enough that he, he's, he's, he's making up all this crap the worst thing I can't I can't defend with this guy is the fact he's a freaking bigot, okay? Like, my god, the, the audacity he has. So I'll be like wondering, why is he a bigot? Read his post from March 2023, where he went on a freaking row regarding RE5 and why he was calling that game racist. I find that hilarious because literally in March 2024, you had IGN do that racist article. And this guy was doing it a year beforehand. And it just pisses me off. It's like... Why are you saying that crap? Why are you stirring up trouble? And this is the, this is the thing. This post right here is stirring up trouble. He's saying a bunch of shit that is just going to upset people. And it doesn't come across as fact. A lot of it is just coming across as guest picking. And him just going back and forth on shit he said. And now he's saying it's this. And now he's saying it's that. Do you understand? That's why I can't believe him. That's why I can't take any of his bull crap seriously. So it's, it's getting really frustrating and annoying at this point. But... I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out if we're not, if we get a showcase next month and RE9 isn't revealed at that point, then yeah, I guess it's the leg. But that doesn't mean he's freaking right. It doesn't mean he's right. It doesn't mean it does it doesn't. It doesn't mean he's right at all. It just means yeah, Capcom is taking a bit longer on that. Like maybe we'll maybe they'll announce a remake instead. Maybe we get the reveal for RE. That would be hilarious if they reveal the RE one remake. But if they are making an RE zero remake and we're not getting RE nine, then what the hell are we getting next year? In in yeah yeah because we're in twenty twenty four now. What are we getting next year then? What's the RE game we're getting in twenty twenty five then? If it's not RE nine, what are we getting in twenty twenty five? That's the thing you need to ask yourselves because Capcom tries to make this a yearly release. I know you're thinking, so what then? What was the release for 2024? It was the gold edition of RE4. RE4 gold edition was the was the release for this year. So obviously we're going to get something next year. When it's RE9 or something else, it has to be something, right? And my money is on RE9. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to stick with. I don't believe what this guy's saying. And even if some of this does end up being true, I'm still not going to believe him because he keeps making up other shit that doesn't add up. Anyway, guys, that's my rant. Uh, and yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Again, as always, take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, don't believe everything this asshole is saying. That's what he is. He's an asshole. And, I, and, and I'm just sick and tired of his bullshit. I really, really freaking am. Take care and bye, guys. Take care and bye.